What's going on, Black Family? It's your boy, Big Vic, aka My Black Universe. I'm here with my younger brother, the middle boy, Vincent Soders. How y'all doing? So, um, I do have a platform, and I really use it for personal reasons, but this is something serious. Now, too often, our children they end up getting mixed up in situations where there's family members that get a hold of them, that don't really have the rights to them, because one parent or the other is dropping the ball. Now, I can't absolve my brother of his his doings. He could have been more on the ball about this. However, my niece, I recently saw a picture of my niece and she looks so thin compared to what I've seen her. And so that's raised the alarm and we did uh, go through the proper services. He filled out a report, I filled out a report, but now it's getting to the point where it seems like CPS is moving real weird and can possibly put those children in more danger of more physical abuse that we allege is happening. I'm going to let Mr. take over and uh, let you know what's going on from start to finish, or start to now. How you doing that, Black Universe fans? Um, yeah, so for the last 10 years, uh, my oldest daughter, like I said, her name is Madison, and she has been uh, staying with her grandmother and the grandmother's boyfriend. Um, and recently, last month, um, she had told me some disturbing things on how she's being whooped a lot more because she's the eldest and how she pretty much goes to bed hungry because they only get to eat dinner at five o'clock and they go to bed hungry and also explained to me that the grandmother's boyfriend has been whooping her personally himself and left a bruise on her thigh. Um, that was the first time in a long time that she had told me about this and I it it rubs me the wrong way because for me and you can I've been raised me me and my brother as well as my younger brother as well as my, our younger sister have been raised by a man who shows more love and compassion because he knows that guess what we, we're nothing but children so we know that guess what our children will mess up from time to time and we shouldn't you know berate them or belittle them, belittle them from the things that they do because they're children by the time they get to a certain age where they can be held accountable and responsible hey you know it's when they get close to the, you know the teenage years and so you know I myself personally like he had me mention I dropped the ball on trying to get my daughter because her mom like I said, her mom's no good. Um, it's expected, especially right now, from what my daughter's telling me, mom hasn't been living in Texas for the last four or five months now. She's somewhere in Washington, D.C. I'm not too sure what's going on. I don't really keep in contact with my and ex. And it's allegedly, because we don't know for sure. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, you go to this person's Facebook, whenever I mention her name, we go to Facebook, you don't see any new posts on any of our pages, you don't see any information. Really, no one's been able to get in contact with her. No, that, that is pretty much the gist of it. Um, so, uh, fast forward a little bit. Last week, went back up there and everything, and she told us, hey, you know, um, <laughs> which is, like I said, and I do apologize because when I hear this, it, it, it makes me mad. It really truly does. It makes me mad to the point where, guess what, I just want to act, uh, lay, in lame terms, niggerish. But I have to hold myself a little bit higher and do it the proper way, which is, you know, CPS, going through the laws, filling out the paperwork to try to get her. And whenever I go see my daughter, just like today, me and my wife, we went to go see her and everything. She had told me this past Friday she had got another whooping because she threw her backpack down on the ground, which had a school laptop. Now, the laptop itself is in case it's protected. So the school itself, it, it knows how to protect, you know, no. it protects it. But why would you sit up there and whoop her for dropping her backpack down, knowing that the laptop itself is protected? You start whooping her, and then when she starts moving around, you pick her up and start whooping her even harder. That right there, I take, I take more issue to that than anything, because at the end of the day, she is still a child. Now, once again, I want to say that these statements, th these actions <clears throat> are alleged. We don't know for a fact. We can't get in the home. There's, uh, from my understanding, um, you've had interaction with this gentleman who's not biologically connected to 
my niece at all. Like I said, I want to make this clear. I am showing a bit of bias. This is my niece. All right. I'm not going to hold no qualms. I don't want anybody to come on and say, well, why, what does it mean to you? This is my niece. I, my, my niece, Madison, she's an August baby just like me. That's my, that's my little buddy. Now, from my understanding, this man is via uh, messenger or text has threatened you. Yes. Um, With this, physical harm if you come on his property. Yes. And this was last summer. Now, by the time I was getting the girl per visitation as ordered and everything but the girl like I said the girls have been living with the grandmother now real quick that visitation has not been uh, withdrawn by the courts have they? no it has not so that's still standing today yes, yes I don't make sure, they, these things clear um, now I, I, like I said I am showing a bit of bias but we're gonna make sure we get the details out and make things clear he still has visitation rights to his child proceed so uh, yeah, the paperwork is is this as it is. I'm supposed to get her first, third, fifth weekend of every month, alternating holidays and summers. And for the last two years, I have not been getting that due to the fact the girls have been living with the grandmother, and the grandmother, and she just doesn't like me. And hey, I understand. Hey, you 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 gonna feel some type of way to some person. It's understandable, but whenever it comes down to my daughter, which is her granddaughter, if and I, and I say this. Her granddaughter, even though she trying to be mother, and I was told this and taught this. Once your child, once your children get up to a certain age where they're out and about and are on their own and taking care of their business and responsibility, your mothering and fathering days are gone. Now, when your grandkids come in, hey, you want to be the best grandmother, or grandfather you can be, spoil them from time to time, but at the same time, you still hold that disciplinary came because, hey, guess what? I'm going to love you, I'm going to treat you as such, but at the same time, you still got to mind and buy by the rules that are set by, like I said, be whether be mother or father. Now, is, does grandmother have parental rights? Does she have guardianship rights? She has not none of that. I, so there's no court order? <clears throat> there's no court order? You've not been to court? No. Nope. They've not uh, petitioned the courts? I, I have uh, went up to uh, the CPS uh, last Thursday me and my wife we did that last Thursday and pretty much we asked all them you know we asked to see hey do they have any type of documents saying stating that you know mother the grandmother has legal guardianship and they, they come back to us no they don't they have no type of guardianships they have nothing that can hold me back from getting my daughter and so by that I'm you know like I said I'm trying to be cordial so, so somebody could say technically, technically, that they kidnapping. That they kidnap. Yes, hands down, they are definitely kidnapping, due to the fact that, like I said, and I'm I'm gonna try to keep it as short as yeah. I possibly can. The grandmother is originally back with her first baby daddy, and that's pretty much who is Jim. It's her first baby daddy, and I guess she feels some type of way that hey, you know. He was married. They, they, he was married, and he was taking care of his family. And she, he probably never helped out with the kids that they, they, they had with each other. But at the end of the day, why should that be play a factor in me being present in my child's life? Because at the end of the day, I'm not your ex. I'm better than your ex. I've been raised and taught by a man who took care of six kids. All right. So that's 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 because we want to keep it on on top of the focus so, on um, my niece and this uh, situation the way it stands. My understanding is the dynamic is that's his house and she has no legal claim to it because they're only they're not married. No, they're not married. They're, they're, now they <clears throat> been living with each other for the last five going on six years now. So and like you know. Just, here in Texas, laws are, are weird. So well, it, but laws are changed. So we're not gonna get to that. But yeah. we, we know. But generally speaking, she has no legal rights to this no. house that we know of. No. no. So the dynamic is she really does, she can't really balk or kind of raise, you know, mm -hmm. her, her voice uh, to an extent. This, it might be my phone. Yeah. Let ring. Uh, because she'd be put out of the street. Now, I'm not saying that's, that's not grounds to not protect children from abuse. Mm -hmm. It's one thing when a child does something, you tell them in correction, you show them in correction, then you move to uh, corporal punishment. But it's another thing to just, well, my first inclination is, here's a belt or here's a switch. 
across your backside because of whatever reason. Mm -hmm. And I, I do believe that is what's going on in that home because like I said, talking with my daughter, she she is so opening and so forthcoming when it comes to certain situations that's going on with her and her uh, half sister that she will talk to me. She will literally talk to me, have a conversation and let me know, hey, that this is what's going on. Uh, I don't feel safe there. I'm afraid of granny's boyfriend. And just to, just to allow this to keep going on and keep happening will make me less of a father and also less of a man if I have if I don't jump in and do something about it because that can escalate to be something a, a lot more severe and I don't need that to happen and I don't care for it to happen because for me I know whenever she talks to me whenever I see in her eyes I see the fear I see the hurt she is at the point where guess what she is, she'll, she'll tell me, Daddy, I want to stay with you. Daddy, I want to be with you. Daddy, I want to be with you. There's no hesitation in, in what she's saying. There's no hesitation. Now, you guys sent me a video of one of the last times you talked with her. And with your permission right here, uh, your oral permission, I'd like to share uh, a clip of that. Just, I don't want to put any serious detailed information out there. Just share a clip of my niece. Because she, when I saw the picture that was posted online, I was like, what's going on? I can tell she's not eating. She didn't look that little last time. Now she's got a little bit tall, but she hadn't gone tall enough for her to look slender. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, no, I was say you, you definitely most can do that. I really, really want you to put this out there for all men who are striving and trying to be in their children's life. And they're having hard times doing it because guess what? Oh, baby mama is upset that he done moved on and, and found somebody a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Or, well, grandmama, oh, grandma can't stand you. But at the end of the day, it's not about grandmama. It's not about baby mama. It's about the, the child. child. It's always about the child. And it, it has to be pushed a lot harder. That way, most children, and I can, I can, and I can vouch, I can say this because the one time she had told me, see, <clears throat> this, this is how sick of people they are well you gotta be careful with your words because you can enter in the realm of defamation mm -hmm. so but sick as in how they will play with my daughter mentally how manipulative they we perceive them to be yes whenever i went back up there and i talked to her and I always, she always asked me, Daddy, have you texted Granny? Have you called Granny? And I let her know, yes, sweetheart, I have texted your grandmother and I have called your grandmother. But your grandmother does not text back or she, does she not pick up my calls? Mm -hmm. My daughter told me that the, Granny's boyfriend said that no, he didn't call or no, he didn't text or allegedly, this is like I said, this is coming from my daughter. Grandma said that I do not care for her no more. I don't care for her and her half sister. For them to sit up there and say that to these children lets me know that guess what? At the end of the day, you could care less about their mental state or their physical state because y'all are that bitter. Y'all are that upset because guess what? My daughters love me and I'm around and I show them what a father is, what a good man is, how hard he has to work to provide for his family. I will show them that, hands down, because that's what a good father would do. Now, somebody might bother back and say, and I have to, I have to do this, mm -hmm. and as much as I'm biased, because I want my niece in the best environment possible, mm -hmm. some ask, how come you didn't do this sooner? Why is it a year later, <clears throat> a year and a half later? How come you made the drum harder? I, at one point in time, was in fear. Okay. And I say this in fear because I have read excerpts and newspaper clips and been online and read how one man will literally live in one state but drive hours away just to see his child and he gets there and the, 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 the ex 
or the, the grandmother will literally blockade him from seeing that child and whenever he goes to court and the court will side with the, the ex and the grandmother because like I said we live in a time where majority the majority of the time that fathers are looked down upon we are look down because guess what oh, we don't have the four bedroom two car garage house where we can you know house them properly or we don't have the uh, adequate funds to take care of them that's usually provided by the state that's this word <clears throat> funded benefits like ebt and things in housing that's how a lot of more are able to do it but i don't want to get into what's mm -hmm. on there yeah. so the reason why we're doing this video is because of information you found today now, you called me earlier and said, hey, CPS is going to go up to the school where well, she's not around the uh, the man and her grandmother so they can ask her uh, in an environment where she doesn't have to feel intimidated, where I perceive she won't feel intimidated. And you got you called me back and said something different. Mm -hmm. What happened? So the caseworker, um, and I'm excluding her name out, had called me back and let me know that um, her boss has set up a meeting with them uh, tomorrow, which is the 5th of November, at their home at 5 p.m. And it rubbed me the wrong way because as you sometimes you see and you look and you be like, okay, you want to have one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one time with the child because it's the child that's in danger. That's the, it's the child that's pretty much being uh, not adequately fed, probably not taking adequate baths, and being abused because of certain things that's out of their control. And whenever she told me that, I could was only say I, I really didn't have any other words to say because I can feel in my gut that by them doing that, they might coerce them to life on their behalf. Like I said, I have dealt with this particular family for almost 15 years now, and they are not above stretching the truth, to, to, to say the least. They're not above stretching the truth. And I had told their caseworker, hey, you know, you got to do what you got to do. If that's your boss's rule, do what your boss has you do. But I also told her, do one-on-one -on -one by themselves, away from the grandmother, away from the boyfriend, because with them being in a neutral environment where they're not looked at by the grandmother or grandfather, just to look at them and probably scowl them to say make sure that they tell them a lie to the truth just for them just for it to play in their favor i told the caseworker that and so come wednesday i have a meeting with her at five o'clock at her office and like i said with the one video you do have we have three videos and I also have a voice recording as well telling us what's been going on what has happened that way they understand the severity of the situation I am trying to make sure that my daughter your niece would be out of harm's way and put into a loving environment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, so, to, just to bring it back up, but to, to see where you're at, are you still in fear, knowing the consequences, uh, based on what we see, based on the evidence of what we see? None of us are in the house. I didn't even know this man existed. Um, it's very unfortunate, and I have to go to my brother about getting this information to me late. Um, you know, I filled out a report on behalf of my niece. Uh, he's done it as well. Just because we know this, my biggest concern is uh, not only the physical abuse, physical abuse, but possible sexual abuse. Um, we have little girls in a house with a man who has no uh, biological ties to him, which does not 
was often somebody who was sick in the head from doing anything to a little bitty child, whether it's male or female. Uh, but we know these things can really happen, especially to our little black girls. So knowing that's a possibility, I'm kind of banging the drum and beating the drum a little bit harder because we don't want that to happen. So black family, uh, we just ask that you guys, um, if you have any information to help us kind of, you know, put a little, a little squeeze on uh, CPS to have a little haste, a little pep in their step to talk to the girls one-on-one -on -one so they don't feel intimidated, so they don't feel like if I do this, I'm there's going to be retaliation. Please lend us some advice. If some of you are here in the DFW area, um, and you can give us some, some information or access to uh, if people who have information where we can utilize that to kind of bang the drum a little harder and possibly save one, at least one of our little black children from ongoing trauma that can affect them later on down the road. Um, this is part of what we're doing to try to break these generational curses is when we see something, we don't just say, well, you know, I can't do nothing. No, we're, we're, we're banging the drum and we're doing what we can. And if you have someone who's got something going on, um, let me know. I will do my investigation. Do not assume I'm just going to automatically jump up and uh, put the cape on for you. I got to do my investigation, make sure everything's on up and up. And then I will help you in any way I can to bring uh, additional light to the situation so we can get these babies in safe environments and stable environments where they don't have to worry about being abused and traumatized like that. Now, I'm going to give you the last word and then we're going to close it out. For those fathers who are willing to put in the fight for the kids that they love, don't back down. Keep pushing. Yes, it gets hard. Yes, sometimes I do feel like giving up because, like I said, the this, this system itself really doesn't play in our favor. But I do believe, hands down, if you're willing to put in the work, you're willing to make the sacrifices, necessary sacrifices, for that child that was brought in this world who brought a little bit more happiness in your life. And I believe me, my daughter, she brings an unfathomable happiness to my life because, well, that's my daughter. <laughs> that's my daughter, that's my daughter. and. Just keep going, keep going, keep pushing. Because at the end of the day, it's a battle. It is a battle. But if you're willing to stick it out and make it work, you definitely win that war. All right, family. Thank you for watching. Please share this with someone you know who could possibly help. I always remember to keep it V1. Peace and black and proud. So family, before this video plays, I want you to know that uh, uh, CBS did go out there and interview the children at the home, not separately. Um, so we don't know how it went. Um, but they did exclaim that he is allowed to punish the children um, as he see fit, even though he doesn't have legal court orders to have the children, nor does the, um, the mother. Now, uh, from what they told my brother, CPS said that they have rights to the children because the mom abandoned them. There's still no court order. There's no documentation. Um, and then when my brother asked them, hey, is there any documentation? She said, well, they couldn't pro provide it at the time. So, um, CPS is slow rolling this. Um, if you want to know. Yeah. Yeah. So, as we go forward, man, we're really banging the drum. We're really going hard. Um, and this video is the uh, conversation they had with my niece at her school during lunch. So, if you can handle your heartstrings being pulled, uh, watch this. If not, I would suggest not watching it. It's about seven minutes uh, long. So, yeah. Peace and black power, my family. Or oh, your granny ever whooped you for any known reason? Like, I say, if you misplace your glasses, have you got work because of that? Sometimes, I mean, one, he, one time he said, don't bump into 
ਸਾਡੇ ਘਰ ਦੇ ਬਗੇ ਦੇ ਹਮਨੀ ਮਾਸੇ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਬੁਖੇ ਮਾਸੇ ਜੀ ਖੁਸ਼ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਸ ਵਾਰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਵੀ ਹਰ ਬੋਕਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਕਿਆ ਕਮਨ ਆ ਤਾਕਨ ਇਸ ਐ ਯੈਸ ਸਰ ਬੀ ਡਨ ਯੂ ਡੋਨਟ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਪੁਟ ਯਰ ਹੈਂਡਸ ਅਪ Because otherwise you have sentences for me. Mm. <laughs> okay. Has they... Has... Because I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show you this. My grandma did not see your message. You said what? She didn't see your message about watching her. Oh, baby, we did send it to you. We didn't sit to your grandma. Your grandma act like she don't see the messages. Friday at 7, 11 p.m. We are throwing a party for my son tomorrow. Can girls come? See, this is what I'm saying. Let's see who we are. Tomorrow you get sentences. Come on. You know what daddy Who's next? You. Go over your traps. Let's go. Let me tell you something. I don't want to Quickly, him to text, you, to text your grandma to see if we could come pick you up. I don't do that. That's Girls, one thing I don't talking. do, baby. I love you so much. You like my daughter. I don't do no favoritism. Y'all are all my babies. I love y'all. So at the end of the day, again, your greatest lying to you. She's lying to you. We text. Galen, let's go, sir. And see how you doing. She ignores our messages. Yes. I have. Yes. Do I always want the voicemail? No. It rings and then it goes to voicemail. So Do you yeah. hear it go voicemail or she said tells you it goes to voicemail? What is it? Tell be honest. I haven't heard. That's the problem. That's not cuz it's what not it? true. She don't call us. No. Your grand is not. Going. She don't call us. So we are at the end of the day. that is going to get you okay so yes keep this conversation to yourself right okay. me and mama denya already have a certain things in action on, on your behalf who do you want to stay with you want to stay with us okay right sir at the end of the day you come with me baby this back with class stand up please stuff that your granny's telling you are lies. Very. We love you. We think about you every single day. Your brother says, misses you. Dominique, everybody. We talk about y'all every single day. When they say how many kids we have, I say three. I don't say Elijah's my only child. You miss out. I mean, like I say, I'm not I'm upset. I'm not upset with you. I love you too that you didn't do nothing wrong. I'm just more upset because how this is going. So You be seeing me, you be seeing me And who put the who put their hands on you? Who who whoop you because Who 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 whoop you? Mostly has called. Who? Has has called. Okay. He don't got mm, mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Came up to the school yesterday to see how I was behaving. Okay. Well, that right there. That's Are okay. you afraid of him? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Is he hitting you with the hands, belt? A switch. A switch. Sometimes belt and sometimes switch. Say it again. Sometimes. Sometimes. But mostly belt recently. Okay. Okay. What is this on your arm? Yeah. When did you get that? What that? What is that? You my arm. Your, on your arm. Mm-hmm. You trying to you trying to get tattoos? You too. You washable you. marker, but I messed up. Oh yeah, that's a marker. So I yeah. you sanitize it. Okay. Mm-hmm. What about this? What is this? I've been getting bumps recently. And then bumps? one time he hit me so hard, hard my thighs hurt. Okay. 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 It's okay, sweetie. Just Let know me. we love you. It's no change in us that we do not love you. We love you. We call you and see how you're doing. They're not answering our calls. We're being really straight up honest with you. 
I is the day and night we think about you every single day. But it's so hard when the other person is not cooperating. You know what cooperating means, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's very hard when that other person cannot be eye to eye with the other person. So it's very hard. And I hate that y'all beautiful girls are going through this. I hate that for y'all. Because I know how it feels to be um, a little girl like your age. I've been that age before. I'm 30, about to be 32 next month. And we love you so much. I cry. Do you know your dad sees me cry every day, hoping that you come home? I cry. Because you're my daughter. No matter what. I don't care what your granny said. I don't care what your mama said. You're still my daughter because guess what? I'm married to your father. Dominique is my daughter. Your dad did something that he had in his heart to take care of Dominique, which I hate to say this, it's not his responsibility, but he did it because he loved you and he loves Dominique. I'm being honest with you and I love you. I love y'all. It's nothing. We still got clothes in there that we bought from last year. It still got tags in there. We didn't. We didn't throw them away. That bag that y'all come over every night, y'all used to come. It's not. It's not thrown away. It's still there. All your stuff is still there. We didn't throw it away. That must have how much you love you. Uh uh. That's how much we love you. Because she had to class. Okay, but we're gonna let you go to class. I love you. Thank you.